Lots of people have always had a dream about owning their own pub. It's never been easier for the man in the street to open his own pub. Everyone helps everyone in the micropub community. I do believe that communities need pubs. If you're religious, you've got a local church. But if you're a gregarious person, you like to go out and meet people. If your local pub shut, you know, what do you do, you know, to, to replace that? We open a micro pub. <laughs> what were your initial thoughts when Richard said he was thinking of opening a micro pub? Uh, initially, I really didn't want him to. I guess it was a midlife crisis. If I wanted to go and watch West Ham play, for example, I'd go to another pub with a screen. But I, I love coming here. We're running out of cash, we're getting through the beers, uh, we've lost our red wine, we're not sure where we put it. There's something like a, a warmth about it that just attracted me. It's, it's not so corporate, it's, um, it's people doing something for a passion. It's just a place where people come and have a chat, and hopefully a good drink. We spend an awful lot of time on our phones. <laughs> and I think for people to kind of have that connection and get to know their local producer, I think that's, that can only be a good thing, right? There aren't many pubs like, that, that are like it now, that are you know, like a family boozer. I think about 0.01% have gone bust, so they're here forever. It's made a lot of beer drinkers very happy.